Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has criticized the performance of his country's Russian-made Iskander-E ballistic missiles during the conflict with Azerbaijan last year. These have massive repercussions. Russian military equipment export is a major source of revenue for the nation, and casting of aspersions on Iskander-E is a massive PR disaster. This has given rise to the murmurs that many other Russian systems have significant flaws, but these have not got into the public domain. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes if the Russian Iskander-E missile failed in Armenia and Azerbaijan conflict. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Armenia and Azerbaijan were involved in a bitter clash. The conflict is essentially an ethnic and territorial one over the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh. It's inhabited mostly by ethnic Armenians, while the seven surrounding districts were inhabited mostly by Azerbaijanis, until their expulsion during the Nagorno-Karabakh War. Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but mostly governed by the unrecognized Republic of Artsakh, formerly named Nagorno-Karabakh Republic NKR, since the war. Azerbaijan has been successful in retaking territory that belonged to it under international law but had been de facto controlled by Armenia. The fighting came to an end in November when both sides agreed to sign a Russian-brokered peace deal. It's to be noted here that Russia has strong ties with Armenia and has been selling weapons which included Iskander-E. The 9K-720 Iskander is a mobile, short-range ballistic missile system produced and deployed by the Russian military. The missile systems are replacing obsolete OTR-21 Tachka systems. The Iskander has several different conventional warheads, including a cluster munitions warhead, a fuel-air explosive enhanced blast warhead, a high-explosive fragmentation warhead, an earth penetrator for bunker busting, and an electromagnetic pulse device for anti-radar missions. The missile system has many variants. E-variant is meant for export. Armenia became the first foreign country to operate the system. It introduced the Iskander Mobile Missile Complex to the public during a military parade dedicated to the 25th anniversary of Armenia's independence in 2016. Iskander-E has a maximum range of up to 280 kilometers or 174 miles to comply with missile technology control regime restrictions for export and is fitted with a simplified inertial guidance system. It flies on a flattened trajectory under 50 kilometers or 31 miles altitude, allowing aerodynamic steering using tail fins, permitting a less predictable flight path and accurate delivery. Former President Serge Sergian criticized the Pishinyan government by asking why Russian-made Iskander short-range missiles were not fired on the third or fourth day of the war. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pishinyan said in an interview that the Iskander E's had been used, but that they'd been ineffective, claiming that the warheads and the majority of the missiles fired failed to explode as intended, if at all. When asked why the Iskander missile did not explode, 
or why it exploded only by 10 percent? Pashinyan responded by arguing that the Russian missiles were probably outdated. He said maybe it was a weapon of the 80s. Former Minister of Defense Zaryan Ohanian refuted this and said the missiles were obtained toward the end of his tenure in 2015. Questions over the effectiveness of the Iskander missiles have drawn strong criticism from the Russians. Several senior members of Russia's Duma, the lower house of parliament, condemned Pashinyan. Viktor Zavarzin, the deputy chairman of a state Duma committee on defense and security, said, The Iskander is a highly precise weapon, which has repeatedly been proved during military exercises. Zavarzin stated Pashinyan's remarks about the missile were a complete lie. Russian military expert Viktor Murakovsky accused Pashinyan, asking him where his fantasies have come from over his comments on the Iskander missile. Murakovsky claimed the Iskanders were not used during the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh and they made no launches. Viewers may note that video footage available on social media showed Armenia firing Iskander ballistic missiles at Azerbaijan in November. Russian MOD has even published videos to demonstrate the effectiveness of the Iskander system. One such video inadvertently seems to indicate that Russia was targeting hospitals in Syria as early as 2016. As per most ground reports, it's clear that the Iskander missiles were used by Armenia. It's also to be noted that the war resulted in the loss of territory as well as face for Armenia. So there's no reason to believe that they held themselves back from using the Iskander missile. This is not the first time Russian weapon systems have been found to be wanting when used in actual conflict. Earlier, a similar thing happened with Pantsir S-1, a short-range self-propelled air defense system that's meant to protect military, industrial, and administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs. Pantsir S-1 was provided by Russia to the Assad regime in Syria. In May 2018, Israeli Defense Forces released a video showing the destruction of a Syrian Pantsir S-1. This came as a major humiliation for the Russian military. At that time, also, Russian experts gave many excuses, but the fact remains attempts are being made to develop a new advanced version, called the Pantsir SM, with upgraded electronics, radar, and new missiles to replace Pantsir S-1. Also, Russia is trying to sell the Pantsir S-1 abroad at a low price. As per the indications, it can be concluded it's highly likely that there's something wrong with the Russian-made Iskander missile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.